Petunia Natural Park, the amazing phenomena of the nation's wonderland. Stretching before us, we see a vast panorama of nature's handiwork, beautiful rugged mountains, virgin territory, unsullied, unmarred by human touch. Well, uh, uh, practically. Anyhow, Petunia is the natural sanctuary for wild animal life. Here, roaming at will, may be seen the elk, the buffalo, the moose, and, uh, well, many other rare species, such as the Scrobolus americanus, or the common tourist. Let us go with them into this scenic fairyland. At the gateway, we stop for inspection. These rugged, handsome rangers are here to help and guide you. There will be a ten dollars in cards and nothing to be done. Two dollars for me, no fifty. Only two dollars, no fifty. What is this? Their motto is service. As we drive a few miles eastward, that's right, eastward, we approach the giant redwoods, towering above us like great cathedrals. Driving through this tree demonstrates the immense size of these giants. Whoa! I think perhaps we took the wrong detour. Let us leave our tourists for a few moments and take a hop over to the geysers. Well, some hop. These geysers have been brought here from all parts of the world at a great expense. But the granddaddy of them all is old dependable who never misses. Uh-oh, there she blows now. Well, good shot, old boy. Now, as we join our tourists again and follow the mountain highway, we come upon a grizzly. These grizzlies are a very friendly lot and are always willing to pose for the many candid camera fans who visit the park. But this fellow seems a little shy. He must dislike publicity. A creature of nature's forest, he naturally is reticent and cautious. Don't give up, Mama. Well, here we are at last, all settled in camp. I wonder where everyone can be. No, not here. Well, look at this. A mother bear shaking down nuts for a young. Hello, nuts. Why don't you mind your own business? Okay, from now on, you're on your own. Battered calf. <laughs> Save me a slice of the white meat, boys. And here is Mama, inhaling a snootful of nature. to listen to the babbling brook. Far be it for me to talk. It's not my business, of course. Oh, but it came with a couple of my ears. I think someone's listening. Here's mud in your eye. Petunia is carpeted with a multitude of rare wildflowers. No, no, Mama. Don't touch. No, no. Time. Looks like we have company for lunch, Captain. Oh, that's no way to treat a guest. Captain, you group. <laughs> Don't be selfish, Cap. One little olive won't make much difference. Uh-oh. Jiggers, the cops. Feeding the animals, eh? I, I just want a little olive oil. None of your buck, Doc. But you see, I was... Uh, oh, raise the pin and knock it down. No. Come on. Sorry, I'll have none of your lips. But that's the uh, hell to the jail. Oh, my goodness gracious. And 
end as the day comes to a close and night draws its curtain over the scene. Ah, no curtain. All is so quiet, one can literally hear a pin drop. And in the solitude of the night, the dainty fawn timidly steals down to the water's edge to get a drink. Now for a good night's rest, the stillness broken only by the delicate, melodious chirp of a cricket. Morning finds our family packed and on their way home. Back to the big city. Oh, yeah. Things must be more trouble. Oh, handy. Fritzy. Be nice, boys. Best to kept in a pail of water for the car. And remember, no monkey shine. What's this? Remember what the captain said, boys. No monkey shine. Looks like trouble. Here's some nice water. Some for Lizzie. And some for the captain. Cap. See you next year. Not the boy see you, Phil. 